Hello everybody, welcome back to another video or welcome if you haven't been here before. My name is Sid and my goal is to bring you vegan meals you can easily incorporate into your everyday life. This week I was really focusing on kind of getting back to basics. I just got back to Sweden after visiting my family for about a month and with readjusting to my routine and the jet lag, my appetite was a little all over the place. So. This week is full of foundational meals that I eat all the time. So you've seen a lot of these before, but now you have them all conveniently in one place. Um, but I got my day started off with a bowl of granola with some blueberries and some oat milk, super simple. And then I am making a big chickpea cucumber salad for lunch. So I got some quinoa on the stove and chopped up a bunch of veggies, which I left on the screen. I drained and rinsed some chickpeas, so we're just mixing up those with the quinoa, all of our veggies, and some salt, some lemon pepper, some paprika, some lemon juice, a bit of garlic powder, and some sriracha, along with some hummus as well. Uh, mixing that all around, and I also decided to add in a bit of nutritional yeast, some hemp seeds, and some pumpkin seeds as well. This is a really great salad just to have on hand. It's very filling and nourishing, and it always leaves me with a bunch of leftovers, which I will be eating throughout the week, or at least one more time in the week. Uh, but I had this with a piece of toast, and it was a great lunch. Just park the car and hold me Pull back your hair and hold me It isn't fair It's never For dinner tonight, I really wanted a rice bowl, so I got some rice cooking on the stove and chopped up some sweet potatoes, some red onion, and got that into my pan. I also decided to add in some tofu to this as well, and I seasoned it all up with a bit of salt, some lemon pepper, some paprika, and some garlic powder. I also chopped up some broccoli and got that steaming on the stove while I made a quick dressing, so just a bit of hummus, some lemon pepper, some lemon juice, some dill, and some water. And then all that's left to do is plate up this very simple dinner. Got my rice, got my sweet potatoes, and my tofu. Topped it off with my broccoli and my sauce and enjoyed this wonderful dinner. Getting straight into lunch today, I'm having some chickpea tacos. As you will see, chickpeas are a huge staple for me. I'll be eating them pretty frequently this week. But I just got some chickpeas in my pan with a bit of seasoning, which I left on the screen. Chopping up some red onion, some tomato, and some spinach. Just kind of tossing that around and a little bit of lemon juice and salt, and that makes for a nice sort of, sort of like a salsa to go on top of the tacos. And then we are just plating this up. So I actually used my leftover rice from yesterday. Got that into my taco shells after spreading them with some hummus. 
added on my chickpeas, added on my little veggie mixture, and just enjoyed this as a wonderful lunch. Tonight for dinner, we are making just a very simple go-to pasta dish, just some pasta with a red sauce, some veggies, and some tofu. So I season up some tofu with some salt, a bit of agave, some lemon pepper, garlic powder, and lemon juice. Got that in my pan, chopped up some bell pepper and some red onion, and also some mushrooms and some cherry tomatoes. Gonna get my onions and peppers in my pan first with some salt some lemon pepper, all my usual seasonings, and kind of let that cook down for just a minute before I added in my mushrooms and my cherry tomatoes. We're adding in a bit of tomato sauce, seasoning that with whatever else it needs, and just letting that bubble for a few minutes while my pasta finishes cooking up. Got my pasta in my bowl, topped it with a bit of nutritional yeast, got my veggies in my sauce, and my tofu. And that is it. This is a very simple pasta dish, one of my go-to dinners for sure. Good morning and welcome to another breakfast. This morning we are having some vegan French toast. I actually made this for the first time in my last video and I really enjoyed it, so I've been making it a lot ever since. But I just mixed up a little bit of oat milk with some flour, some cinnamon, some chia seed, a little bit of baking powder and agave. Got that into a shallow dish so I can dip in my bread. So you just coat your bread in this and then I fried it up in a bit of coconut oil. We're giving that a nice flip. Uh, my bread was a little bit too soggy, that's my fault. So don't leave it in the uh, mixture for too long or use like a more stale bread, an older bread if you have it. I enjoyed some granola on the side with a bit of blueberries and oat milk. Topped off my toast with some blueberries, some hemp seeds and some agave. And like I said, definitely becoming one of my favorite breakfasts. So I hope that you will give it a try. I will leave um, directions down below for this. This would not be a go-to meals video without a rice noodle dish. You guys already know this. If you watch my videos at all, you know I make this all the time. It's one of my favorite dinners, if not my favorite. But I just chopped up some broccoli and some carrots. We're gonna get that on the stove to steam. Got some noodles and some hot water and chopped up some tofu. We're gonna fry this up in some soy sauce, some garlic powder, lemon pepper, a little bit of chili powder, sriracha, and agave. We're also making a sauce with all of that same stuff, adding some rice vinegar in there as well, along with some lemon juice and some sesame seeds. And then we are just plating this up. So I got my noodles in my bowl, 
drizzled on about half of my sauce, added my veggies and my tofu, added the rest of my sauce, and enjoyed. Again, this video would not be complete without some avocado toast, so that's what I'm making this morning. I'm just chopping up some cherry tomatoes and some spinach and mixing that around in some lemon juice and some salt. Getting my avocado chopped up and then, you know, it's pretty much standard procedure from here on out. Got some hummus onto my toast, mashed on my avocado, and just added on my tomatoes and spinach. Added some grapes to the side and you truly cannot go wrong with some avocado toast for breakfast with some fruit on the side. For lunch today we are having a sandwich so if I'm making a sandwich this is definitely the sandwich that I'm making about 90% of the time. So this is just a chickpea mash. Um, I got my chickpeas mixed together with some seasonings that I left on the screen and also cut up some cucumber and some avocado. Uh, chopped up some apples to go on the side and then all that's left to do is construct the sandwich. Got my avocado on my bread, got my chickpeas on there, added my cucumber and spinach and cut this in half, of course added my apples to the side and enjoyed. For dinner tonight, I wanted something very simple, so I chopped up some garlic and some mushrooms, got that in my pan while I boiled some spaghetti noodles. Also added in some white beans and chopped up a bunch of spinach. We're just adding in our noodles to our pan with our mushrooms and beans, adding our spinach with a bunch of lemon juice and a little bit of olive oil, and then you can season this to taste with some salt, garlic powder, lemon pepper, black pepper, whatever you'd like, and this is just a very simple dinner. I enjoyed a piece of vegan blueberry pie from Espresso House that I picked up earlier in the day for dessert as well. We are back at it with the French toast again this morning. I told you guys, I'm really enjoying this. You should really try it, it's very good. Um, but anyway, on weeks when I'm feeling a bit more overwhelmed, I will eat the same thing over and over again as most of us do. So I'm having three pieces today instead of two. That's pretty much the only difference here. And again, just fried it up in some coconut oil. I enjoyed this with some clementine on the side, I topped it off with some agave, again, some blueberries, hemp seeds, and pumpkin seeds. Alright, we have made it to the last meal of the video. Tonight for dinner, after having Max and also both of those muffins, I felt very satisfied for quite a while, so I didn't end up eating until around 10 p.m. So I just quickly fried up some potatoes, mixed in some leftover quinoa and chickpeas with them, and added on some steamed broccoli and a quick dressing I made out of some hummus, lemon juice, water, salt, and dill. And that's it, a very simple dinner to conclude this video. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time.